What exactly is the sin of presumption? Today's liturgy will teach us. Dear brothers and sisters, Salve Maria. Saint Thomas More, an English saint, once decided to counsel a friend of his who was very worldly, extremely presumptuous of his salvation. Saint Thomas would come up to him and tell him, my dear friend, please do not be so presumptuous. You never know when God will take away your soul. And his friend would look at him carelessly and tell him, Oh Thomas, for heaven's sake, please do not bother me with these things. I know what to do. When I am in trouble, certainly I will do an act of perfect contrition and everything is resolved. So I do not have to be worried about the death and the judgment with God. And St. Thomas would tell him, My dear friend, take care. Please do not fall into presumption. Take care of your soul. And day after day, St. Thomas would repeat the same counsel. St. Thomas probably would have, a, would have had a feeling where he would know the life of his friend was about to end soon. But unfortunately, this friend of his was extremely presumptuous, filled with pride, and would never want to change or amend his life. One fine day, when he was galloping with his horse in a bridge, for no reason, his horse stopped in the middle of the bridge, but so hard that unfortunately, this man was thrown out of his horse, fell out of the bridge into the river. At this moment, this friend was so desperate, gasping for air, drinking tons of water, started to scream out, asking for help. Unfortunately, by the time help arrived, he was dead and his body was afloat. Those who were heard his voice, the last words of this man before dying, told Thomas his last words were not an act of contrition. Dear brothers and sisters, this exactly is the sin of presumption, which is a sin against the Holy Spirit. And that is why it's difficult to obtain pardon. Not that it is a sin so big enough that God cannot pardon it. No. As St. Thomas Aquinas teaches us, it is a sin against the Holy Spirit where the person has hardened his heart so much that he is not willing to change. And thus, being it more difficult to obtain pardon from God. This friend of his, of St. Thomas, more, was presumptuous, presumptuous, filled with pride and did not want to amend his life and left his conversion for the last moment, thinking that at the last second, somehow he could find a way out of the situation. But unfortunately, things did not work out his way. Today's liturgy, we have the Gospel reading of St. Matthew, where the disciples meet with the Lord Jesus Christ and ask him to explain the parable of the weed in the field. We all know well this parable and exactly what happens to the weeds. The weeds are the children of the evil one and the enemy who sows them is the devil. The harvest is the end of the age and the harvesters are angels. Just as weeds are collected and burned up with fire, so will it be at the end of the age. Dear brothers and sisters, for us not to fall into the sin of presumption, we ought to always realize at any moment of time, the angel of God, the harvester, can come to meet us. And at this moment, if we are not ready, our souls will be like those of the weeds, which are like burnt up in the fiery furnace. Dear brothers and sisters, our attitude should be like the prophet Jeremiah in the first reading. Jeremiah says, let my eyes stream with tears day and night without rest over the great destruction which overwhelms the virgin daughter of my people, over her incurable wound. And he goes on to plead for God's help. Have you cast off Judah completely? Is Zion loathsome to you? Why have you struck as a blow that cannot be healed? We wait for peace to no avail, for a time of healing, but terror comes instead. 
We recognize, O oh Lord, our wickedness, the guilt of our fathers, that we have sinned against you. This, dear brothers and sisters, is the attitude of a true Catholic soul, not the one which enters into despair, but a one who knows that he has sinned, but at the same time confides that God, upon him asking pardon to God, certainly will forgive him of all his sins, but also not a person who leaves this act of conversion, this petition of pardon for the last moment of his life. Let us beseech Mary most holy that she may protect our souls from the sin of presumption and always keep us from despair and from presumption. May the blessing of the Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come upon you and remain with you forever. Salve Maria.